Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Moz. Today, we are going through some of our incredible Sphinx Moths that we have here in sunny South Florida in the Florida Keys. And today, the specimen of choice, the species of choice, is Hylis Leniata. Guys, Hylis Leniata, the white line Sphinx, it's actually a beautiful moth that's very, very common throughout the United States in Canada and down through Central and South America. Uh, but guys, we're gonna show you a little bit about this bug. It's actually pretty rare in the Florida Keys. So uh, guys, if you find a bug and you'd like to help identifying it, please write me at david at keysmoths.com and I'll do my best to help you identify any caterpillars or insects that you might find because there's a bunch of them. We, it's, it's not easy sometimes and I'll do my best to try and help you figure out what you're finding so um also you know we get a lot of really cool records that come in when we uh, share these information with each other so send me your pictures send me your uh your videos and i'll see if i can help and guys let's get to the video where we talk about the white line sphinx all right guys Hylis lineata the white line sphinx uh these are actually all my photo photographs and this is a page from my website and so Pretty cool caterpillar. Check out the caterpillar on this thing. I love this thing. Very neat. Um, very wicked looking caterpillar. Uh, the, the moth itself is actually very pretty. It's got these white lines on the forewing and the thorax, which is why it was named. But the hindwing has got this really deep kind of ruby colored coloration. And it's got some really faint blue dots as well so it's a it's a beautiful moth and it can actually be quite common i remember being in nevada one time and putting lights out in the middle of the desert and i was shocked within an hour or so we had probably 30 or 40 of these things on the light sheet so i guess they can be go through population explosions uh but guys in the florida keys they are not common at all in fact i've only found two of them one on Key Largo, and then they've been found once on Bahia Honda Key by Jim Trowbridge, and actually three of them, I'm, take that back. Two on Key Largo, one on Bahia Honda Key in the months of April, June, and July. So uh, again, they have a very wide range. They live most of the United States, Central and South America. They feed on a number of plants, a, lot, a number of weeds, uh, in fact, many, many plants, and we are actually not sure what they feed on in the Florida Keys, but uh, plants in the primrose family and in the rose family, the life cycle is pretty simple. The eggs are laid on the new growth or somewhat new leaves of the host plants. Caterpillars eat. They've got this pretty cool red head and then this big red horn on the, you know, classic sphinx-like horn on the, on the abdomen, abdominal area, and they pupate underground. And then here's the one of the specimens I have here. And they've got these really neat white spots, white and black checkered spots on the thorax. But guys, you might most commonly see these guys hovering at flowers in the late afternoon or twilight in your garden. In fact, uh, they, they go to a number of different types of flowers for nectar. They're very active during the day, which is different. And a lot of sphinx moths, like most of these guys, you never see during the day. But this is one, the white line sphinx is one that you will see flying around during the day and they visit a number of different flowers. And so, uh, but guys, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this species other than it's a neat find, uh, especially down the Keys where they're just not that common. You know, in other places in the country where they're more abundant, there might not be that big of a deal, but we get excited when we see them in the Florida Keys. But guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give me a like, thumbs up on the video because um, that helps out our channel. And when you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, we will get you notified every time we do a cool video on one of these amazing moths or butterflies from the Florida Keys. We've got a lot to cover, so uh, don't miss out on any of the action. And quick shout out to the Southern Lepidoptera Society, which... I am a member of for the last, oh, I don't know, 20 years or so. And it's a group of about 200 lepidopterists that are mostly amateur that 
have dedicated their time to studying the butterflies and moths of the southern United States. So if you're interested in joining such a group of interesting and very, very intelligent people that will help you find cool bugs like the guys think, uh, click the link in my description and I will give you a link to their website where you can join and become a member. So guys, hope you liked the video. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and find some cool bugs like the white line space. Take care now. Thank <music> you.